world's biggest fly-sized bacteria found. No term for these microscopic organisms existed prior to Antony van Leeuwenhoek's discovery of bacteria in 1676. Viruses, which are far smaller than bacteria and need even more powerful microscopes, were discovered in 1892 when Dmitry Ivanovsky identified the tobacco mosaic virus. Scientists have found a bacteria so enormous that it can be seen with the unaided eye, much to the amazement of the general public. Approximately the size of a fly, this massive string-like bacteria is found in Caribbean mangroves and may grow up to 2 cm long. Even though it's just a single cell, its massive size is 5,000 times more than that of most other bacteria. Researchers from Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory in the US, the CNRS in France, and other institutions have christened the newly found creature Thiomargarita magnifica. It dwarfs existing so-called giant bacteria by around 50-fold. One theory is that T. magnifica's massive size may be due to the unusual way in which its genetic material is organized. Prokaryotes include bacteria and other single-celled creatures known as archaea, whereas eukaryotes include multicellular organisms such as trees and humans. In contrast to eukaryotes, which contain their genetic information in a nucleus, prokaryotes have free-floating DNA. Because its genome is not free-floating within its cell as in other bacteria, T. magnifica is blurring the distinctions between eukaryotes and prokaryotes. A membrane covers it instead. The genome's 11 million nucleotides, which line up to create 11,000 genes, astounded scientists when they were first sequenced. As a reference, your typical bacteria has just roughly 4 million nucleotides and 3,900 genes. To put it another way, these remarkable discoveries show that life's two main branches aren't as distinct as previously thought, and T. magnifica may be the missing link explaining how complex life emerged from the most rudimentary single-celled animals over a billion years ago. To keep its DNA safe, the huge bacteria's membrane has a small pouch. It possesses a bigger membrane sac filled with water that occupies 73% of the microbe's volume. Because of this external sac, the bacterium may expand to such enormous proportions while yet maintaining the compactness of its vital organelles.